everyone and welcome to Spelling Episode 6. Now today we're looking at adding ED to a verb for the past simple or the past participle of the verb. Let's have a look and see how we do this. Now rule number one, if the verb ends with E, we just add D. Arrive, you see it ends with E, I added a D. That's all. Let's go to rule number two. But before I tell you rule number two, I have to remind you of the word vowels. The English vowels are only five. A, E, I, O, U. Y is not a vowel. And if you want confirmation of that, you have to watch the other video with, uh, with uh, the letter Y. All the other letters in the alphabet, B, C, D, F, the ones that are not vowels, basically, are called consonant letters. So that's important. We have five vowel letters and all the others are called consonants. So bear that in mind as I tell you rule number two. Now, if the verb ends with a consonant letter and then a Y immediately after, right at the end of the verb, we delete the Y. So we say bye-bye Y and add I-E-D. So look at the word study. Look, it ends with D, which is a consonant letter, and it's followed by a Y. So what do I do? I delete the Y, and then I add I-E-D. But if the verb ends with a vowel followed by a Y, we just add E-D. We don't delete the Y. So always look what comes before the Y. So stay, look, A is a vowel and it's followed by Y, so I can't delete the vowel or the Y. I just add ED, so the Y stays because A is a vowel. Okay, so bear that in mind. Let's now go to rule number three, doubling letters before we add ED. Now, if we have verbs that are one syllable, now one syllable, what do I mean? When you hear a vowel sound, it's a syllable. For example, my name is Deanna. How many vowels can you hear in my name? D, A, N, A, three. So it's not how many vowels you see, it's how many vowels you hear whenever you have some word. And let's have a look. So if we have one syllable words, finishing with a consonant, vowel and a consonant together right at the end, we are allowed to double the last consonant letter before we add ed. For example, hop. Hop, how many syllables? Oh, I only hear oh. Hop, one syllable. And h is a consonant, o is a vowel, and p is a consonant. So what did I do? I doubled the p and then I added ed. But what happens when I have two or more syllables in a verb? So I hear two or more vowel sounds as I say the verb. Well, if the last vowel and consonant are stressed, which means it has a stronger sound on it, and if you know Greek, that'll help you. We have donos in Greek. Uh, the rest of you have to just think how it's pronounced. So if we end our two or more syllable verb with a stressed vowel and consonant. Again, we're allowed to double the consonant before we add ed. So here, prefer, it finish its two syllables, as you can see, I've separated it for you. Prefer, f-e-r, consonant, vowel, consonant. And the stress is on the end, not at the beginning. So it's at the end of the verb. So on the last vowel and consonant, as we said before, I doubled the R and then I added ED. So prefer, the stress is at the end. And of course it finishes with a consonant, vowel, consonant. Therefore I'm allowed to double that letter. But we are not allowed to double these three letters if they're at the end of the verb. W, X, Y. We're just not allowed to do it even if it follows rule number three and rule number four. Not possible. So look at the word fix. It's one syllable. It finishes with a consonant, a vowel, and consonant. But because I have the letter X, I can't double it. I just have to add ED. So fixed becomes fixed. 
So remember this, you will never be allowed to double these three letters. Now, let's test ourselves. Pause the video and follow the rules to complete these ED endings. Be careful with your spelling rules. I'll give you a moment. Press pause if you need. And now, let's check the answers. There are the correct answers to your test. I hope you did well and keep practicing these rules. Good luck.